Welcome back to Guns Up. First, we are going to do our three alliance battles because Baron's Brigade is out in force. Let's focus those guys down. But I love being able to bring in like an armed vehicle. Let's see how strong this thing is. Uh, it's taken a beating. And now what we want to do is focus fire this bunker. So we'll take down the little wooden wall right in front of it. And wow, that thing is absorbing a ton of fire. Okay, that didn't work out near as well as I thought. Drop some napalm right here so we get the soldiers that are coming out. And we're going to take out these veterans with a good old airstrike. Speaking of airstrikes, we just got another one. So do you think he could strafe both bases? I don't know. Almost. Okay. That's a, like probably the second time ever that I've done that. Have this guy focus down the little wooden wall. In Guns Up on the PC, these wooden walls would break so much easier. But yeah, like I said, we are working on our alliance battles. We're going to try to get Baron's Brigade up into the top alliance and Guns Up. And then after that, what I want to do is I want to play a little bit of zombies mode. One of the things I know we do need to work on as well is probably, let's see, does the machine gun... Oh, it will shoot at the dummy. That's brilliant. We've already got three veterans too. Veteran farming is like a very, very important aspect of Guns Up. But I have noticed that compared to the PC version, the mobile version does seem to have like a little more survivability on the buildings. Or maybe it's because I'm so early in the game that I don't have a lot of upgrades yet. And my soldiers are pretty amateur. So we will take our rewards. Oh, look at this. We're unlocking skills for our soldiers. Major hustle. Cheap labor, reduced deploy cost, reduced deploy cooldown. Oh my gosh. This looks like it's really good. Retribution? And let's give body armor to our sniper. So how good are our soldiers this time around? Wait a minute. Do I not have... I don't have the truck with me anymore. <gasps> Whoops. Let's get a sniper, some grunts, grenadier. You know what? Let's get the whole caboodle. This is a flamethrower. I do not, I mean, not a flamethrower, a grenadier, and I do not want him firing. Surgical strike on their veterans. Beautiful. <laughs> I like that. I use a missile, and it's like, hey, would you like a missile? I'm like, yes, yes, I would. I actually just used my last one. We'll drop some napalm right in the middle there. Call in some more reinforcements. Got a rally flag. Oh, that grenadier is not good. So one of the things we could do is I can rally my troops over there, and then I can have them focus fire that bunker. Now, it's still shooting at me, so I guess we could have planned that a little bit better. And one of the other things you can do, although I kind of like that my guys are gaining experience right now, is we could call in our veterans here using this little button at the bottom. But I don't want to do that. Oh, no. Wait, yes! Did you see that? Those three little, like, squares pop up near the top troops? That's how you get veterans. Farming veterans and guns up is, like, so important. It's been so long since we've had to do this. Our resource storage is almost full. Well, that's fine. War. So we got to make sure our truck is here. Okay, it uses 15 fuel. That's why. We definitely don't want to leave that behind. And it does look like we might even be able to upgrade our attacks. That's wild. That's like the classic mobile game twist. Yeah, look at that, man. It looks like an Australian, like, special forces vehicle. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do not like the look of this base so i'm gonna take out all of the early defenses there i'm gonna get this missile and i'm gonna use it immediately to soften up that bunker and call in my heavy vehicle to just like lay down the pain train on it all right they've got a grenadier focus on the grenadier he can do the most damage boom napalm doesn't burn that base down like i thought it would now can we get at least one veteran any one veteran I think the issue was my truck did way, way too good. So, Baron's Brigade, we're doing good. I've already won three battles for us. So, I just had a video go live. Oh my goodness, and look at how many people are already in here! <laughs> how many members? I have 50 out of 50 members! This is amazing. Now, I'm gonna have to figure out who the officers are and everything like that. But we need more Baron's Brigades, don't we? Okay, so zombies was a little bit tricky. Zombie stage two, complete stage two. Let's make sure our loadout's good. And I think in order to do that, we need to soup up our soldiers. We need to upgrade our soldiers so that they can survive the zombie apocalypse. Easier said than done, I do realize. Medic, you've got to be upgraded. 
Now we do have two keys, so let's unlock a supply crate. There's, there's definitely something compelling. Oh, an epic sniper upgrade? Yes, please. Let's do it again. Okay, I like that. Now we could make this guy units rate of fire as a medic. I'm not entirely sure that's needed. I think I'd rather have this person have the increased rate of fire and upgrading them to their max level that I can do right now. That looks like everything. Increased magazine size? Yes, dude, I love these upgrades. I forgot how deep guns up can really go. So we got major hustle and then unstoppable. 15 resistance? Come on, day! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Here's the zombie slayer. Win zombie defense battles. Easy. Let's do that now that we've upgraded our soldiers. We will move out and we can participate, I think, in four attempts. So we'll just summon everybody right off the bat. Uh, we want more soldiers and more soldiers, please. Now, I've only got so many weapons available. I'm going to call an airstrike over there. And can we stun the zombies over here? It looks like we can. Okay, good. Because uh, basically, I can't have any of my guys die. And if any of my guys die, well, this is only wave one out of three. Oh, okay. That was pretty close. We're about to get a missile. Oh, wait, we got some fast runners. Focus down the fast runners. Okay, that worked out. And I guess I could drop napalm like this. So wave two out of three wasn't too bad. Look at that. Fried zombies in the morning. These zombies are endless, right? That's the thing about zombies. Although they don't start that way in every like zombie lore I've seen, it's always like, oh, there's just infinite zombies. I mean, if you don't use it, you lose it, right? Oh, we got a zombie boss. Okay, so what we're gonna do is call it an airstrike on him. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. That just did not. All right, boys, uh, focus fire that guy. Look at how strong he is. All right, airstrike him. He's got such a small head. Wait, oh, the airstrike killed some of my guys. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't know how that happened. He just blew up my base. <laughs> You're kidding me. He blew up my base. Who would have thought zombies is so difficult? Okay, we've learned from our mistakes, presumably. Oh my gosh, we can upgrade these? We can upgrade these. Let's give our guys extra armor or grunts. That is gonna help so much. All right, so this drops their cooldown and does a little more damage. A lot of upgrades in mobile games, boys. Get used to it. Now, unfortunately, we can't take any of those. Oh my gosh, 6%? That is, that is huge. 23% increase on my grenade launcher. Now let's do the same to our officer. All right, everything's upgraded to the max. Let's give it another go. I don't think we need the medic. And that was a mistake we made. We're spending a lot of money on a medic. We do want a marksman and a grenade. All right, and then three more squads of riflemen. Because we only have a set amount. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're at unit cap, aren't we? Okay, well, call on the airstrike. Slow down these guys. Let's get ahead of this thing. Uh, a lot of zombies over there. Uh, let's slow them down. I thought we upgraded, but I feel like we're having a harder time on the first wave. We didn't buy a medic. Are they exploding? Or is that the grenade? I'm not sure if we lost anybody. The fast movers over there, that's fine. We normally take them out pretty easily. They're hopping over the sandbags. This napalm strike should soften them up. So I've learned we have to save for this guy. Airstrike on the regular guys. Oh, that did nicely. Big missile on the boss. That worked out pretty well. Napalm on the big guy too. We have to soften him up. And we can't die to our own plane. Yes, we didn't die to our own plane this time. Okay guys, focus on the boss. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. We've done it. Yeah, so he exploded and blew our base up last time. Right at the end, it was Rather unfortunate, man. Only two stars, though. I wonder what I could have done differently. I didn't even do any friendly fire, to my knowledge. I'm curious what stage three is all about. I don't know if our current loadout is good enough or strong enough to deal with it, but we're gonna find out. Wave one. Get these guys out early. Sniper, Grenadier. 
And I should be able to get... I guess we'll get this guy. All right, stun those guys. Airstrike these ones. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, we're gonna need a missile over here. Danger close, artillery strike. I mean, uh, if artillery is a missile. <laughs> oh, we got a big boy. All right, focus down the big boy first. And I'm gonna do my best to uh, slow them down. Okay, who put like the zombie virus in the graveyard? You know what I mean? And let's stun these guys because they're making quite a bit of progress over there. I really need to focus fire this boss. It, it, it has to be done. It has to be done. Take him out before he explodes. Wait. Nope. Oh, okay, he only did half damage. Brilliant. And the enemy's only coming from the left side this time. And I got reinforcements. We have a chance. Still only one out of the two stars. We've got another focus fired up. Imagine, yeah, there's gonna be a boss, right? And fortunately for us, they're all coming from over here, so. There's some runners attacking the base. Oh, this is gonna be great. Okay, clear out, clear out the walkers. Oh, whoa, 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 they've broken in and they're turning us into zombies. Guy, I need like seven. Oh wait, this missile, this missile. Bring in the reinforcements. Take him down. We can't suffer anymore. It, I think if he blows up, oh, we survived, I think. Yes. Yeah, and we got the three stars. Okay, so upgrading our troops has allowed us to survive against the zombie apocalypse. Otherwise, we would not, would not have done well. Ooh, this space looks challenging. Let's do it. I'm gonna bring in the truck. We've got the fuel for it. Move out. All right, bring out everybody. What's their base looking like? All right, a little bit of a stun to get a missile to do a lot of damage. We took out a lot of that bunker's health. And, oh, that's just convenient. I can drop paratroopers behind them and start destroying them. Oh, they spawn in some troops right at the right time, I think. Oh, kill the grenadier. Oh, he's stunning us. They've got a kill zone here. We got some smoke screen. We're going to use that right there. Drop some napalm. We still have one soldier alive back there. Another napalm strike on these two buildings. And I think, I think that's good. Got the missile. Oh yeah, we've got this one in the bag now. How many veterans? We've got one veteran back there, assuming he doesn't die. The guy right next to him literally died. Come on in boys. I'm gonna get this machine gunner to attack this wall so that all these guys can work on veterancy points. Oh, he's not too interested in it. He like looked at it and he's like, ah, I'm not gonna do anything. What we need to do is see about upgrading and getting tanks. Oh, that's good. So then we'd have to go to the inventory, go to vehicles, upgrade your command center to level seven, nine, and the tank is at level 10. Oh my, oh my. All right, if we upgrade, we get some dude with a really cool looking mask. Oh, but I need to be player level 20? Wow, that's gonna take a little bit of time. Yep, I'm at level 12 and I need to be level 20. We're gonna have to do some grinding. This is a very spread out base. It looks like they've only got two bunkers. I don't even think I need to use my vehicles on this one. Yeah, if we could get the cooldown for these grunts to be really low, we could do grunt only. All right, um, that's their veterans. They're guarded pretty well. My soldiers are still alive. All right, so what we wanna do is time this right. <laughs> it was timed right, guys. Napalm strike their veterans. Actually, it only looks like one veteran there. Call in the airstrike. Call in the airborne. Requesting immediate support. Get a full group of guys. Oh, I guess the airborne will take do damage. Uh, I remember someone telling me a long time ago, and I wonder if it's still the case, that to get soldiers to become veterans, they need to shoot and hit a number of targets. It's not about like killing things. Oh wow, we just got four. Oh my God, that was a ton. I think I just got like seven veterans. What color do we want our army? Red looks awesome. We're the British. <laughs> anyway guys, thank you for watching another episode of Guns Up Mobile. Today, we upgraded our troops to survive an endless zombie invasion. Let me know if you guys do wanna see more and I'll see you in the next one.